Hey everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and try a recipe that I haven't watched somebody else make on YouTube. Living in New England, King Arthur Flour is a really well-known baking company and I really enjoy trying out their recipes. One of my favorite recipes is the apple cider caramels and I'm gonna try that today. Caramels? Caramels? Oh shoot, how do I say it? Caramel? Do you say caramel or caramel? The recipe calls for two cups of cream, one cup of corn syrup, two cups of sugar, six tablespoons of butter, half a cup of boiled cider, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of apple pie spice. That's not a spice that I have. Luckily, the King Arthur recipe gives an alternate for the apple pie spice, which is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. So that's what I'm gonna use today. Luckily, I have a friend that lives near the King Arthur Flowers store, and she brought me a bottle of this boiled cider for this recipe. Today, I'm gonna be doubling this recipe because I wanna give out packages of these caramels to my friends and my family and my coworkers. So all of the ingredients that I just listed, I'm going to be doubling those as I'm making them. For the first step, you just have to grease the inside of a baking pan and then put some parchment paper. So I have some parchment paper cut out here and it's going to, I'm just going to set it into the pan. For the next step, you combine all of the ingredients except the spices and the salt into a saucepan. You want to bring the mixture to a boil until it's 248 degrees. This will probably take about 20 to 30 minutes with the original recipe. Since I'm doubling this recipe, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to bring to a boil to get it to 248 degrees, but I'll let you know once I get there. and have enough corn syrup, so I just had to run to the store to get some. Awesome. Definitely not with the music. Wrong. <laughs> Five minutes of boiling and it's really starting to thicken up once it hit 220 degrees the temperature started rising a lot slower and it's almost at 240 degrees great good <laughs> and it just hit 248 degrees so now I'm going to take it off the burner now I'm gonna add the spice and salt mixture and stir that up right into the parchment lined baking pan. Okay, looks like I didn't stir up the spices enough. There are big, <laughs> there are big chunks of spices in here. I'm gonna try to see if I can stir that in the baking sheet. That was my fault. I did not stir it enough. It gives it a cool swirl effect, but I'm not sure that's what we want. It's the next day, the caramels have set. Now I'm going to take the caramels out of the pan, uh, flip the parchment upside down, peel the parchment off, and then cut them up into little pieces. Caramels are all cut. Because I made a double batch, it took me quite a while to cut these all up. After about 15 minutes, I had to call for reinforcement. These are pretty tough to cut, but it took about 25 minutes total. Um, so 10 minutes with two of us cutting and then 15 minutes with me cutting these by myself. Of course, most people enjoy apple cider in the fall, but I would make these any time of the year. They're so delicious. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how I like to package these up and give them out to my friends and family. So stay tuned. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment down below if you've ever made caramels, and if so, what flavor you like to make. Thanks, bye. <laughs>